Hello, it's Mark for Ableton Daily, and today I'm going to show you how to create the Transformers 1984 Transform sound. All right, this is a intermediate to advanced tutorial. I will be using the sampler instrument and also the analog instrument to create the sound. All right, let's go ahead and begin. I will create a new MIDI track and go ahead and arm the track. So for this new MIDI track, let's come over to the instruments folder inside the live devices and drag in the analog instrument into the plugins Dropbox area. And I'm going to move through here pretty quickly. For the oscillator one, go ahead and change this to a square wave and knock down the octave about a negative two. So a couple octaves down for that. And for the semitone, Bring this down about a negative eight. Let's change the amp envelope for this sound uh, so we can make it a little bit more consistent. Click on sustain here and just turn that all the way up. So the sound is more consistent, but it does have a release, so I don't want any release on that. I'll go ahead and click on release, enter in zero, and press enter. And the sound just stops as soon as I release my finger off the key. Let's go ahead over to filter one. Go ahead and turn this on and change the default setting low pass to a high pass 12 dB filter. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this down. Let's go ahead and keep this around 12 o'clock here. And let's change the resonance, turn this up a little bit just to give the sound a little bit more body. Okay, we're gonna create a filter envelope for this sound, but I think for now, let's go over to the noise generator and turn this on and adjust the color here. The color adjusts how bright the noise is. Somewhere around 1.9, 1.8. For the volume of this, let's take this down to a negative 16. And while we're here, just change the oscillator to a negative 2, negative 2.0. All right, over on oscillator 2, let's go ahead and turn this on, and let's change the shape to a square wave and knock down the octave, negative 2. Semitone, negative three, and detune, just enter in 1.00 and press enter. Okay, and for the volume of this oscillator, just go ahead and enter in 0 0.3. Let's jump over to filter, and we are going to create a filter envelope so we can change the behavior of the filter frequency cutoff knob. I will change the slope to linear, and for the attack, I can just enter a value in here. Let's just put this uh, 2.30, press enter. And then for the decay, we're gonna need some decay here, but that looks like it's just fine the way it is. Uh, 626 for the decay and sustain. I'm gonna enter in 1.00 for the sustain. Release, uh, increase the release. I'm just gonna move the mouse here about five, six seconds. Okay, and let's hear the sound. All right, well, it sounds the same. And the reason is, is because we need to tell analog what we want to do with this envelope. So, well, we want to create some type of frequency modulation. Make sure that we send this envelope to the frequency cutoff knob. Decrease this value down to a negative six. I'll just enter a negative six, press enter. And now you can hear the envelope affecting the frequency cutoff knob. You know what? One last thing over on the noise generator where it says 50-50. This allows us to select where we want the noise to be sent to. Go ahead and click in this box here, move the mouse up all the way, and it'll change to F1. Just letting you know that all the noise is going to F1, filter 1. Low frequency oscillator, LFO number 1 right here. Turn this on, and nothing changes. It still sounds the same. What we're going to do is modulate the amp okay and so I will go over to the amp and tell the amp let's say we're right here it says level modulation and it's currently set to zero enter 1.00 inside LFO 1 for the level modulation so now it's starting to modulate but it's very slow and we can control the rate of that modulation with the rate knob over here Okay, for this rate knob, just go ahead and enter in uh, 4.6 for that. 
And so if that's all good right there, come over to the wave and change the wave to rectangle. So we create more of an on and off type sound, which is very popular in different sound effects and also extremely popular when it comes to uh, the Transformers movies, especially the new ones. So this is used all the time. Um, but the rate knob here, that looks really good. The volume, I'm going to turn down the volume. We're running a little bit hot on the level here. I'll go ahead and check that. Okay, sounds pretty good. Let's move over to the filter number one section. So just go ahead and click here to activate this. And down where it says frequency modulation for LFO1, enter in 1 and press enter. So it says 1.00. Over on the resonance modulation for LFO1, click here, enter in 1, press enter. Okay, so it's a huge difference in the sound now. Okay, sounds good. Let's go ahead and move on. What we're going to do next is insert a course plugin. So inside the audio effects folder, I'll go ahead and click and drag that right next to analog. Here it is, and you can go ahead and match your settings for the course here to my settings. I will just make a few adjustments. The course, what it does is it just smooths out the sound. It makes it a little bit softer, so it's not so choppy. Okay, that sounds sounds pretty good. All right, so you can go ahead and match your settings to mine, and then you can pause the video. Uh, after this, I will insert the vocoder into the chain, so I will just go over to the effects. Whoops, just running off the screen there. I'll go ahead and reorder this. Here it is. Okay, so the audio effects vocoder plugin, let's go ahead and click and drag that next to the course. And here it is, and you can go ahead and just copy the same settings that I have here. And the vocoder is really going to give you that robot voice type sound. I mean, that's what it's all about. But there's a few adjustments that we need to do to enhance that. Uh, go ahead for the carrier, turn this on, and turn the sensitivity all the way up full blast. And let's reduce the bands from 20 down to 16, and take the range all the way up to 18 kilohertz. And for the lower frequency cutoff, let's uh, keep this around 500 hertz. And change this from precise to retro. And the gate's going to make a huge difference. Let's go ahead and make this uh, negative 47 or negative 48. Let's change the attack. Okay, it's also going to sound much better if we turn down the release. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And the depth, you can leave that the same. I'm going to just switch this to mono. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can have it stereo, but I just like mono because uh, I guess back in the 1984, it was probably mono. So <laughs> I'm going to make it mono. Okay, so we're getting very close to that transformer sound. It's very low in volume. So let me go ahead and turn this up a little bit. Okay, so we are pretty much finished with the sound on this channel. Now we've we've created an, a sound using analog. We've added the course plugin and the vocoder. Now what we're going to do is resample the sound. But very importantly, let's go ahead and back up this channel. So because we're going to freeze the channel and do some weird things. Uh, there's several ways to do this, and this is just the way I like to work. And I like to just back up the sound or save it. And I'll just go ahead and save this right now. And so you can save your project. Don't forget to do that. Very important. I've had some accidents. And I can just rename this here. I'll right click in. I'll just put uh, 
I usually call my my raw sound channel design and I'll just make I'll just say original and then I will duplicate this channel and make two and call this one freeze I'll just make this a little bit larger so you can see this what I'm going to do is record myself playing this sound you know something that sounds about like that so I will disarm the original and arm my freeze track and I will grab the mouse and click on the timeline to create a little blinking cursor and that will tell Ableton where I want to start recording at I will go ahead and arm the project and press play and record this sound into MIDI okay there we go and I've also recorded my microphone channel which is uh, which happens every time I do a video because I do have my microphone in live and what I'm going to do is freeze this track so I'm just going to right click here and choose freeze track and then I will right click once more and choose flatten and what this is going to do is convert the MIDI into audio so I'll flatten that and there it is so we can see the waveform right there so now what I can do is create another channel insert MIDI track and let's call this sampler and I will drag in sampler from the instruments folder inside the live devices here it is and so what we need to do is get this waveform into sampler easy way to do that is just to click on the audio clip and drag it right in and I will arm the track here so we can listen to the sound there you go I will set my loop start and loop endpoints here and I will turn up the volume so you can hear this and you can reverse the sound by clicking on this button right here you could probably also use the simpler instrument when creating this so just for an example for those of you that don't have sampler yet I will undo this go over to the folder and insert simpler from the instruments folder and then drag the audio clip into simpler and we can also use this the same way as we would sampler and I will increase the volume and I don't use simpler that much but I think I know there's a way to reverse the sound and if you know of a way to reverse the sound in simpler just let me know <laughs> I don't really use simpler that much so I really have no idea but if you don't have sampler you can use simpler okay and to spice things up a little bit uh, we can add in a reverb so I'll just go over to audio effects drag in a reverb here and make some settings turn this to high quality and we're gonna make a small room a little bit of a decay time just to give a little bit more space so there you have it there's the Transformers 1984 sound in Ableton Live I hope you enjoyed the video my name is Mark for Ableton Daily uh, if you like my videos please subscribe or leave me a comment I'll get back to you and uh, we'll see you on the next one take care